Welcome to our lesson on using GridSnap. First of all, what is GridSnap? I got the line tool selected here and if you look real close as we move our cursor around you'll see a little dot that snaps to the corners of our grid. So if I start to draw a line even though I'm not on the grid it'll pick up that corner on the grid and each grid that I go over snaps into the corner of the grid. If I go vertically, same thing. As I get close to that corner, the line will snap to that corner of the grid. So if we use a, a grid to do a layout of our building, this is a very effective tool to work with. question is, how do we adjust this grid for various different applications? Well, the way we do that is we go into View, Grid Options, and we select Grids and Background. That brings up this box right here where we can set the parameters for our grid. Now, right now we have four feet in the horizontal direction and four feet in the vertical direction with one steps. We can set up an auxiliary grid. Say so we put in 16 inches by 16 inches and we can set up steps and you'll see how that affects our grid pattern. We can also change the background color on our display to any color that we want and we can define the color of our grid lines. Here we can set an angle for a grid. If we have a specific angle, right now we have a rotation angle of 45 degrees and here we have snap grid nudge. This is new in version 12 We'll get into that on a future video regarding the new features of version 12. And this will define how much we can nudge an element or an object using the nudge. These are grid snap options here. We can have our rotated grid option, our or orthogonal or rotated. This will turn the grid display on or off. So once we've set up the grid display the way we like it, we click OK. And now you can see we've got a different kind of grid on the plan. Now we can also access some functions for the grid up here in our menu. Here we can select snap grid, construction grid. We can turn the grid display on and off. We can have our orthogonal or our rotated grid. Right now we have that rotated grid set to a 45 degree angle. So if we select that, that changes everything to a 45 degree angle. We can also set our rotated grid. All right, I've set this back up to a plain grid, and let's take a look at the difference between our snap grid and our construction grid. With construction grid in place, we're jumping along the intersections of the grid lines every four feet. If we go into snap grid and we start drawing a line you'll notice we're jumping along in four inch increments as we move along the grid So we can use either our construction grid or our snap grid to aid us in drafting on our project. So we have a building that's placed at an odd angle on our project.
and then we turn our grid snap on and we want to adjust our grid snap to this angle we can set the rotated grid click once and then click twice and now our grid has rotated according to the two points that we just placed and now we have this perfectly in line with this building here and we can go back to our orthogonal grid at any time what the grid snap function allows is precise graphic alignment of elements at consistent distances and lengths when it's active we can only draw from one grid intersection to another and that grid kind of pulls us along pulls the cursor along and makes it snap to the grid this allows us to position the cursor accurately even at low zoom levels if we have our snap grid or constru construction grid turned on and we'd like to disable the feature I hit the S key on the keyboard and now we can draw from one point to another without having the snap or the grid control us and then hit the S key again and now we're back into our snap mode and again if we don't care to be using the grid at all we go into view grid display and we have options to turn the grid display and the grid snap off here and that should be all you need to know about working with grids and snaps